So, look! I got my first royal jelly, so I can make a serum! Yay, serum! Bees and trees! Yes! I finished it! Yes, yes, yes! Ooh, Valiants! Those guys are valuable. Industrial upgrades! Oh, cool! Industrial upgrades can be upgraded to mimic different biomes, increase the reduction of bees, and even collect pollen for tree breeding. Each upgrade has a limit to how many can be installed. You can only have four different types of upgrades, and one apiary in each upgrade increases the power drain. Tasks for the player need specific items! So, production upgrade, heater, dryer, desert emulation. Indexer. I'm not sure what this does, so I'm gonna throw it in here. Look at all of these, like, queens that are just kind of hanging out in my, uh... Let's put them here. That's kind of the purpose of that, right? Right. Got so many of these. I'm not entirely sure what to do with all of them. Huh. That's kind of weird. Ooh, a flesh golem. That's good. Stack? Oh, nope, they don't stack. Chicken, sheep, pig. Okay. Cooler humidifier. Production desert. Okay, those shouldn't be too hard to do, actually. Valiant. Actually, Valiants are really hard to are harder to come by than cultivated at the moment, so we'll do is do that. Okay. Show you how to make some more upgrades. Let's do some upgrades, people. I think we had dryer. Dryer upgrade? Yep. Sand, climate control module. Oh I have one of those. An upgrade frame. I can't remember how that's crafted, actually. Restart the crafting system, because it's frozen again. Oops. Okay, upgrade frame worked. Okay. Oh, oh, is that bronze? Okay, it's bronze. We don't have any bronze. Let's see, copper. What do I have in the terms of copper? Okay, a few different things. Copper, tin, pulverized tin, okay. Induction smelter, we're gonna use this to make our... Um, Thingy. Protection smelter? Tin? Copper? Do you not like that? Okay, I guess it would only take... What's the term? Cooked... Ingots. Or cooked. It wants the same type of thing on both... In both places. Eh, not that I blame it. It's a lot easier that way. Dryer upgrade. Boom. Heater. Heater. Upgrade. Same thing, but with netherrack. Good frame. Gold nuggets. Okay. That I can provide pretty easily, just like this. Boom. Upgrade frame, netherrack. Heater upgrade. Okay. Heater humidifier. I think it was a production and desert emulation. Production? Sugar, a tinker's gear. Sugar. Tinker's gear. T 
to... Mel. Dang it. Out of resources. I don't care about you, sand. I want copper. Shift in priority, sorry. It happens a lot. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, I only needed one. Do, 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 do. Frame, royal jelly. Okay. Copper, tin. I think I can combine those. Let's see. Induction smelter. Do stuff for us. Give us tasty, tasty bronzing. It's there we go. Because Gendistry loves its bronze. It wants so much of it. And now a desert emulation. Yeah, okay, this requires an environmental processor. Oh goodness, expensive. Lapis. Diamonds aren't like super duper common for me still. Nah, they probably could be. Frame, climate control module, let's see what else do I need, sand and gears, four, perfect, okay, why don't I have a frame, I need tin, oh, Okay, I think we can manage that. Okay. Climate control module frame. Desert emulation upgrade. Claim reward. Nice. Okay. Da 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 da. Da da. Da, da. I'll open the uh, bag in a second. Let's see what the next one is. Tree breed. Oh, oh man, I ha actually have to get into tree breeding. <laughs> Industrial grafter, alveolar sea spectacles. Breed trees. You'll need to collect pollen from different trees and combine the pollen either with the mutatron from Genistry or by right-clicking the leaves of the tree you wish to breed. Different species of trees can be created using this method. You can even create cross species that grow faster, bigger, and produce more fuel when processed in the fermenter. You'll need a sieve to collect pollen using bees and a grafter to get the mutated saplings from trees. Butterflies can also mutate trees. You need special glasses to see when the leaves are mutated. The best bees for mutating trees are the jaded rural and aura bees. Bah. I don't want to do it. You can't make me. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Yes, villagers. It is quite the conundrum. Golden lasso. What? You frustrated. Oh, okay, that's kind of like a uh, safari net. That only works on farm animals. Okay, cool. Anyways, as always, this is Andrea K. Budimus. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I just got a really interesting reward. Infernal Princess. What do you make? A molten comb? Refractory wax. Okay... Oblivion Princess? I'm not sure I... 
make forgotten combs. Amnesic wax? Okay, looks like some kind of magical, magical wax stuff. And oblivion frames. Oh my goodness, whatever this is is really expensive. I have no idea what it does. <laughs> It said this was a nice reward, so I'm guessing those are really, really valuable. But not knowing what they are exactly, I'm just going to kind of leave them in the corner and not mess with them. Because messing with stuff that you don't know what it is is a good way to just kind of like get murdered really fast. Oh, I have an endothermic pump. Oh, that's a pump. Not an endothermic thingama. Thingama, what's it? Oh, look! And I'm up to yellow hearts. See, I've almost maxed out my red heart containers. I finished the milk quest again. But I don't think I'm going to actually do it again. I don't really need the rewards from it. So it's kind of going to get, well, left behind. Um. Mushrooms. Mushroom soup quest is going. Anseline. I could do honey. Scooperator in a reward bag. I do have enough honey. Can I do a bucket of honey? Nope. Could start turning in the pyrotheum. Speaking of which. Can always melt that. Or mob essence. I don't think we're anywhere. Not. I don't think we're close enough to do mob essence or seed oil. Those are not anywhere close to being done. Could set up the biofuel system again. Oh wait, that's 160 buckets of mob essence. I'm actually really close to that. I just need eight more buckets, and that one's done. Don't forget. Uh, if that was a good reward or not. Mushrooms are kind of creepy looking. We still need the meat. Gave us more wheat. <laughs> that breeder is out of control. The carrot's not growing or something? I don't know, the carrots are just slow. Yeah, I planted the carrots so we could start getting some of them going. Because I need them to breed the pickies. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. With the psych weight cycling. I can just do that. Yoink. My girl for Hall lets you do that, by the way. Boom. Wow. It's a lot of breeding. The milk should be capped. Okay, yeah, we're capped at 20 buckets. On the milk. We're at 11 buckets for the blazing pyrotheum. How many did it need? 50. I would it give cyrotheum dust, which it would be useful, but it would not be enough for me to finish the quest. How much? We need 50 bucks and we have 11. Ten buckets? Twenty buckets? We get it go. And that's an unupgraded 
Yeah, it's an unupgraded um crafting chamber too. Craft so fast. In purple, I actually haven't. I just realized I haven't really been working on the purple too much, too well. Or the mushroom soup. Let's see how mushroom soup is doing. Mushroom soup. Oh dear. We're gonna have to up the export level. Okay, what should we export next? Yeah, that one's gonna take a while. Especially with the amount of mushrooms we have. Seed oil is gonna take a while. Uh, so many of these are just gonna take so long to get done. I think the biggest problem with the uh, pyrothium quest is going to be the blaze powder, actually. We've got lots of coal and redstone. It's the blaze powder. Or is it sulfur? Oh yeah, sulfur too. Oh no, we've got a ton of sulfur. We've got more sulfur than we know what to do with. It might be really hard to get anything in there with how... Oh, there we go. That should give us a little bit more blaze powder. I don't think it's enough because it's... One blaze powder for every 200 millibuckets, I think. If I'm doing the ratios right in my head. Okay, can I do the mob essence quest? We're close. Mob essence select. Okay. You can export mob essence now. The last thing I would want to do is lose any excess mob essence. It's not exactly the easiest thing to come by. But... I guess we could sacrifice a few things. Oh, so close. So close. Let's see. Melt you. I'll let the biothium thing just kind of go for a while. Grinder should still be up and running. Yep, grinder is operational. Wait a second. That's not silver fish, those are chickens. Oh, silly game. Murder them all! Excellent. Are we done? No, still not done. Goodness, how close? We're really close, aren't we? What are we at? 99%? So like one more bucket's worth? I think... I think we sh Oh wait, I just saw some going past. Is that enough? Did we finish it? Yes, we finished it. Okay. Turn you off. Claim! Ooh! Reactor casing would be really valuable. I'm gonna grab that actually. Reactor casings are really hard to make. RF fishing rod, okay. Okay. Yay, we completed that one. Can we do this one again? Okay, if they're yellow, it means we can't repeat them. I wish there was an easier 
a better indication of what was um, not already completed once, like the biofuel one. Should I do biofuel? Yeah, I think let's do biofuel. Don't think I have any. No, I don't have any stored. Twenty buckets of that stored. Watch this thing go. 21. So let's see. Let me do some math. One bucket is 10 pyrothium. Okay. Okay, I'm still crafting some too. Twenty-five buckets, twenty-six buckets. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven. Here's another bucket. So that's... we've got twenty-eight buckets worth. Is it still crafting? Okay, yeah, it is still crafting. So how many buckets worth do we have now? Twenty-eight. And we need... twenty-two more. Is that two hundred and twenty pyrothean? Yeah, 22 at 10 per bucket. Yeah, that'd be 22 more pyrothium. Or 22. Ah. <laughs> I don't think sulfur's gonna be a problem. Yep, we got lots of sulfur. Oh, blaze powder. Yeah, it looks like we got enough blaze powder too. Oh, we could finish this one pretty quick. Thirty-one. So to make ten, hundred power theorem would be ten buckets, and then to make one bucket's worth, ten. Right? I do hope I calculated that correctly. Is this the liquid meat one? Yeah, we could commandeer that really fast. We're still doing the poop quest too? Nope, nope, we're not doing the poop quest. Pyrothean. Melt it. Revate. see any meat. Let's double check on this area. This thing was a whole out of power loads earlier. Okay. Food system isn't jammed. And just no kids? Is that what's going on? Nope, I hear them. Oh my goodness. 
Yes, there it is. This chillens. This is all working as hard as they can. Oh my goodness, I'm probably offending a ton of people. Going because that gives us small distance. 35 Pyrotheum. We're getting close. I think. That's five buckets ish worth. Which puts us up to 40. Okay, we're getting closer. Clips. Snack food. I think I miscalculated. I think that's gonna put us up to 42 when it's done. Will you be done? Yeah. 42. Two, that means we eat 80 because it's 10 per bucket. Begin. <coughs> Stuff is kind of cool. We switch our power system to use that instead of lava, if it'd be a little more efficient. Eh, it's possible. Yeah, it keeps wanting coal, but for some reason it won't use this coal. But I'm already pulverizing. Almost done, people. We're almost done with this one. I actually... I didn't realize that I could actually do this one. Got this one. Oops, that's not where I want to go. I want to go here. Do 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 do. Yes. It's the last chunk of pyrethium. Okay, you stop exporting meat for me. Thank you. Great ball of fire. Okay. You output. Move you a little faster. Excellent. Oh. Um, I'm actually going to do the cyrethium dust. Oh, reactor casing or glass would be really good. I'm gonna do this just so that I can unlock the, uh, the Cyrothium Cyrothium quest. Oops, this can be used as a coolant. Works better than water. Oh, that's gonna take a lot. Oh, there's a spawn blizz quest. Spawn Blizz Egg. One of those would be invaluable for actually completing this quest. So we only have a tenth. We'd have to complete that other one a hundred times in order to get a Blizzard Egg. Oh, fooey. Fooey, 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 fooey. Unless I get lucky somewhere. Which is possible. Not likely, though. Nope. 
Let's turn the honey quest again, why not? Seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety. Okay. Steadfast drones. Pristine, even. Oh, limestone, yay. What are you for? You make cocoa? That seems a little on the... Oh, heroic drones. I forget what those guys do. I think they do something kind of cool, actually. Or they have a cool effect. I can't remember. They really make the cocoa drones. Sad day. Sad day. More bees that actually don't seem super useful. At the moment, maybe a purpose for them will be revealed shortly. How are we going to spawn blizzes? I've heard something about you can spawn them in sufficiently cold biomes. I don't know anything about like light level or and such to see if that would help make them spawn. So I need to find one and capture one. So I'm going to need to auto spawn and murder a lot of them in order to make that cyrothium. Well, I might as well make some glass, because that seems to be the only thing that is easily makeable. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.